Otani's ride home in about a week and a half or so as he is replaced by European Space Agency astronaut Leopold Ayarts. On uh, Sunday, while the first spacewalk is underway by Rex Wellheim and Hans Schlegel to assist in the attachment of the Columbus module to the starboard port of the Harmony connecting node, Tawny will be swapping uh, custom-made Soyuz seed liners with AARTS. Uh, that will provide AARTS uh, with the capability of returning home in a Russian uh, Soyuz capsule, the TMA-11, that is currently docked to the nadir or earthward-facing docking port of the Zarya module. That would provide AARTS with that return capability. As uh, Tawny at that point uh, becomes a member of Atlantis's crew, AARTS joining Whitson and Malenchenko, uh, for about a month and a half as part of the Expedition 16 crew. Again, this is a replay of uh, Dan Tawney. Atlantis with a tag up on uh, procedures. We're ready, Atlantis. Hey, Matt, uh, we think we're done with the asset checklist. Uh, we're collecting our FDF and getting the checklist squared away, and we're going to push into the post insertion. We concur with that, Steve. Uh, for block one and post insertion, we're going to want you single G2. That only affects step four. And when you get to step 10 in block one, please give us a call before you start it. Okay, copy single G2, and uh, you want to call before we get to step 10 for the uh, reconfig GPCs in block one. That's a good readback. Again, this is a replay of uh, the video uh, from the Destiny Laboratory of the International Space Station at the time uh, of Atlantis's launch as Dan Tawney on the left and Commander Peggy Whitson on the right watched uh, Atlantis's climb to orbit. Atlantis now on a path that will carry it to a docking to the International Space Station. The docking scheduled for 11.25 a.m. Central Time on Saturday. Again, that was a replay of uh, video aboard the Destiny Laboratory of the International Space Station captured at the time uh, of Atlantis's launch about 55 minutes ago as uh, Commander Peggy Whitson and Flight Engineer Dan Tawney watched uh, a live uplink of the television of the launch from the Kennedy Space Center on their laptop computers. As we mentioned earlier, history repeated itself today, seven years ago today, the Destiny Laboratory was launched aboard uh, the shuttle Atlantis on the STS-98 mission. Ken Cockrell, the commander, Mark Polanski, the pilot. Polanski was actually one of the pilots today overseas uh, at one of the transoceanic abort sites. So seven years to the day after uh, Atlantis launched Destiny, today it launches the European Columbus Science Laboratory to the International Space Station.